So diagnosing a bogging Tillotson. If I could figure this one out, I'd win the internet because no one on uh, vintage sled sites would ever uh, have anything to post about again. So on a Tillotson, the first thing you need to know is if you've got a lean bog or a rich bog. So a lean bog is usually associated with a backfire. So you'll get on the gas and go pop and then accelerate. A rich bog, you probably already know it because you got fuel running out your tailpipe. So, in the case of a lean bog, it's probably your metering orifices here under the low speed jet. They're probably dirty, there's something wrong with them, it's possible your lever arm is misadjusted, you've got a bad diaphragm, you've got a weak pulse line, um, the spring pressure isn't enough here. It's pretty complicated, so I mean, most likely, if you've got a lean bog, it's associated with your lever arm. If you've already rebuilt the carb a couple of times and you haven't adjusted this lever arm pressure or the angle of it, like up or down, um, that's going to be about it. If you've got a high speed problem, it's probably a bog due to richness. Um, you've got your nozzle valve here. If this sticks open, the motor will run pig rich, it won't accelerate, uh, all things like that. Um, it's not the easiest thing to fix these Tillotsons when you have an issue. If you've rebuilt it properly with OEM parts, you follow the instructions, your pop-off valve is set, your lever arm's adjusted properly. Um, if you've still got a lean issue, it's going to be crank seals um, or intake gaskets, something like that. Um, as far as a rich bog goes, I mean, you could even have a cylinder down. So it's pretty hard to diagnose the issue with the carburetor if it's been rebuilt properly. Um, it's very rare to have a Tillotson that's actually damaged in such a way that it won't function anymore. Um, but if you have, or if someone has messed with these and damaged one of the holes, it's a possibility. Also, if these welch plugs aren't sealing properly, um, it can give you some trouble. You want to use a small ball peen hammer and put it on here and then hit it with another hammer to kind of give it the slightly concave to make sure there's a 100% seal. If you have access to a pressure tester, you can plug off this hole with your finger and pressure test into the screws and you can see if there's any leakage around here, put some oil or uh, I prefer to use two stroke oil. Some guys say use gas, but it's so hard to see the bubbles uh, with fuel. Um, you can use low air pressure, you can use a rad pressure tester, whatever you can rig up to get that all done. And the only other thing really uh, is constant flooding would be a bad needle. Um, the needle and seats have to be matched. If you have a forked like there's a forked style needle and seat here and the arm here has a fork in it. If you have a forked arm, you have to use a forked needle. You can't mix and match. You can't put a forked needle on a regular arm or et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's about it on that. And good luck if none of that helped you.